All right, let's keep it. Let's keep it moving. Um, I think that Fab, you ain't speaking a while, man. We got some more plays for you here. I'm jumping around for my itinerary that I had, but I think uh, we did Notre Dame. We already talked about Oregon a little bit. You already had Utah, Baylor. Oh, you and SMU. Talk to me about Oklahoma and SMU. What you got there? So. <clears throat> This is just going to go with how I feel. Um, I, I wanted to wait and see week one, and I don't love betting those huge spreads. You'll just see I'm not a big person that those 40-point spreads, those week one, week zero games, I just don't touch those. But if you do know, I, I gave out, if you did watch our uh, college football preview show, man, OU and Washington were my two dark horse teams to to be national title contender teams. And after what I saw and after watching the All-22 there's nothing to make me believe that OU is not that team. Um, everything's come together for them. Second year under Brent Venables, he's got their defense rolling. Their offense is cooking. Um, Jeff Lebby's their offensive coordinator. He came from Ole Miss, runs a perfect system. Dylan Gabriel's like a poor man's Michael Penix, gets the ball out very quickly. Ball placement's a premium. They've got weapons. They're, they've got running backs for days. I like SMU as a team on their own level, but this game's going to get out of hand. I'm telling you right now, this game is going to get out of hand. I don't know why people are betting SMU. They weren't paying attention. This game is going to get out of hand. They're going to, SMU will get doubled up. Mark my words. Ooh, heavy talk, man. I'm just telling you right now, OU is going to be that team. Come November, people are going to be like, dang, they're, they really – like it's going to come down to them in Texas, and I think we're going to see Alabama lay wood to Texas' own line and – I just think that's going to give OU the blueprint. I think everything is coming together for OU. This sounds familiar. This sounds familiar, Nate. It does sound, sound like, familiar. It sounds like 2022 uh, sharp of, Oklahoma, <laughs> of Oklahoma's height. Oh, no. I faded Oklahoma last year on my bets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm to check them tapes. Yeah, I bet them on a couple games, but a lot of them yeah. I faded or took the overs because their defense was bad. I wasn't high on them at all okay. last year. No, I do. I do like Oklahoma this year, though. I think they. I think they turn around a little bit. Yeah, I'm on this. I'm on this game too. This is part of a, a ten point teaser. I. Uh, I think the. I like the scoring here. Um. So we'll, once we get to our teasers, I'll add. This is part of one of my. Um. My best. Te one of my. Only have one teaser. My best bet in a teaser game. Um. So. Um. Well, you guys still watching here? Um. Uh, make sure you guys just hold on because we'll, we'll. We'll roll out all the teaser bets here shortly. Um. But I do like the line. I do like the side. Um. I think you had you had shipped this over at 17, right? And it, now it's being bet down. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That you're getting even better value now. So people are betting on SMU, and that's fine. Like these are a couple games. I'll, I don't mind walking the plank and going against the number. So um, I, I just have a firm. I, I feel like I really know this OU team. I spend a lot of time watching them. I've seen them in person a bunch. I know their staff. I just th there's a lot of things that are they're heading in a really good direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, agree. I agree with you, Sharp. I think they're, they're heading in the right direction. I think the 16 and 17 is a lot for SMU team, though. I, I, I'm, I'm fading this game, but I, I'm, I'm behind you. My only scare is that SMU can can score, too, and you got to worry about the back door. Um, yeah. So but with that sure. being said, I do like Oklahoma here. I just I can't put my money on it just because I don't know enough yet from Oklahoma. If they the real deal or – if they're going to fall into what they've always fell back into these last few years and get you the dud. So I'm going to look and watch and root for you, though, Sharp. Yeah, I'm going to watch this game, too, because um, I do have a side for it, but I'm not taking – I'm on the total, not the uh, – uh, not, uh, not a side per the uh, per the uh, SMU or Oklahoma. 